Hello. So today I've brought for you the solar system, or at least a small portion of it. Here's the Earth. I'm just going to point to there. Change to a color that is visible. Shade. Here's Earth. Here is the sun. And here is the average di distance of between the Earth and the sun. And this is called, this distance is measured in astronomical units. Astronomical units. And there's one astronomical unit on average between the Earth and the sun. So we see a distant star very, very far away. Very far away. But we do not know the distance to it. And it seems a bit too silly to send a spacecraft out there to find out. So, it turns out we can use our trigonometry to find this distance. Well, for one, let's say that the radius between the sun and this star is 90 degrees to the radius of the sun to the Earth. And that wouldn't be hard, so hard to do if the star was over here or wherever. Then we just wait till the Earth was 90 degrees to it. And, you know, we take measurements along the way to make sure it's 90 degrees. You know, just to make sure that that's always where we want it to be, if it's 90 degrees. And then we point at the star and see the angle to the star from this radius that we are from the sun, from this one astronomical unit towards the sun. So we look at the direction of the sun, and we look at the direction to the star, we find the angle between them. And we call this angle, say, alpha. So this angle alpha is very useful, because if we know it, and we know the distance to the sun, one astronomical unit, then we should be able to find every property here. But this isn't really a triangle yet, is it? So let's turn this into a triangle. Let's draw a little virtual let's draw a little virtual line here. And now it's a right triangle. Great. And we can call this distance from the Earth to the star R. But we don't really care about that. We don't want to know R. We want to know D. We don't want to know the distance between our star and that star. That's what's important. So what can we use? Let's look at Sokotoa. So, ka, so a, a sign useful. What's a sign of alpha? The sign of alpha is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, d over r. That's a problem. Those are both unknowns, and we don't care about r. What about the cosine of alpha? That is... Ooh, one we know, one AU. I'm just writing AU so that we can be clear that it's in astronomical units over, again, the hypotenuse, R. And we don't care about R, so so what? Who cares? But what about tangent? And later we'll find out that we can use any of these. But the easiest one to use, or at least, you know, we can use a combination if we're just using a useless one like this. <laughs> uh, the tangent. What's that? So that is the opposite over the adjacent. That is D opposite over the adjacent. It's going to write adjunct op. And that's important. That's D over. 1AU, and we know 1AU, which means we only have one unknown, and we do care about D. D is the important one. So, just with a little bit of algebraic manipulation, 1, I'm just going to write down the units so we're clear, times the tangent of our angle, alpha, is equal to the distance between our sun and that star. And now, to go 
a, a little bit off track and throw in a completely silly scenario, uh, let's give ourselves an angle and let's say that our angle alpha is is equal to 60. And we're going to go over this a lot later in the unit circle videos, but I'm just going to tell you right now that the tangent of 60 is equal to the square root of 3. So let's plug this in. So 1 times the tangent of alpha, this is just a unit, is equal to d. So d is equal to 1 au times the tangent of alpha. And if alpha is 60, we know that the tangent of alpha is the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. And that is our d. So that's about 1.7 times the distance of the Earth to the Sun, which is very silly because that's still in our solar system, like inner solar system. That's very close on cosmological scales. But that's good. d is equal to the square root of 3 times 1, of course, square root of 3 astronomical units. And that is great. We found the distance to that very, very close star. And now we should probably evacuate everything and move out because that is too close for a star to be to our planet unless it's a binary system, which it is not at the moment, which I'm kind of glad about. And this is how you use trigonometry to find stellar distances. I hope this was insightful. Thanks for watching.